Hey guys, and you're welcome to Check My Guns. My name is Carl, and this video is gonna be about this over and under shotgun. It's a Breton, and it comes from France, but is it entirely French? Let's check it out. As usual, let's start with a history. Breton Company was established in the year 1934 in the city of Saint Etienne in France. And it's known for making the lightest shotguns in the world. And also for their special way of opening the shotgun, special way of action. I'll show you that in a moment. In between years 1985 and 1995, this action was improved into the series of shotguns called Fair Play. And that's exactly what we have here. In year 2000, the Breton company merged with another famous manufacturer, Goucher. So since the year 2000, the company's name is Breton and Goucher, if I pronounce it right. And you can buy this shotgun still brand new, which is quite unusual thing in my videos to have some sort of gun you can buy brand new. What I have here is a Breton shotgun, but this one wasn't made in France. In the year 1992, there was another company called Breton established in Slovakia in the city of Košice, and they are making essentially the same guns as the original Breton company. So it must be under the license or these companies are somehow connected. I wasn't able to find any information on that. But this particular gun comes from Slovakia. Before I bring the camera closer to show you this gun from outside, I'll show you how Breton system actually works. So you have this lever on the side and you push it down and forward which disconnects this gun into two pieces. So original Breton system as it was made in the year 1934 worked like that and you just put the shotgun shells inside and then you close it again. The fair play shotgun system is a bit different. You still disconnect it like this but you can also tilt it down like with, with the brake action uh, shotguns, so you, it's way easier to load the shells inside and put it back together. So yeah, this is the extraordinary system on this shotgun. So I think now I can bring the camera closer and show you all interesting stuff from outside of this shotgun. So now we can look at the gun a bit more closer. Let's start from the end. Here is a rubberized butt plate with a sign Fusil Breton. It has a obviously wooden stock. Here's a sling swivel. It's a hand checkered. Pretty narrow, really, really small uh, stock. If we go to this part, the most significant design part would be these side plates on both sides, which actually works also as guides for uh, this segment with the barrels. When you disconnect it from the rest of the shotgun, I will show that in a moment. But for now, I will just describe it from the outside. So here we have the light engravings. Here is written Breton on the lever. The lever is really essential here. I will show that in a moment too. Here is the bent piece of metal, which works as a push through safety. So now it's on safe and if we push it through we can see here the red color which means that now it's on fire position it's really really cheap looking and yeah <laughs> really simple there are two triggers uh, they are actually attached by these two pins going through and if you look from the other side again the side plate with sign Breton on it uh, here we have the rear rear sides which are fixed and what else is here here we have the caliber 20 by 70 magnum and proofing mark of Slovakia in the year 98 so this gun comes from the year 98 we cannot really find any serial number on this gun I'll show you that in a moment where you can find it but just by looking from outside you cannot cannot see it and here is another proofing mark of Slovakia in year 98. Here we see that there are some markings underneath it. We will get to that when we disassemble the rifle. If we go 
further here is the forend, which is again wooden, hand checkered with a sling swivel, and it's attached by this metal spring to this segment with barrels. Uh, we'll take that apart in a moment. And if we continue here, we have barrels, and also here this, this plastic uh, sleeve is attaching barrels together here at the muzzle and also uh, attaches the interchangeable chokes. We'll look at that also in a moment when we take it apart. Another thing which we need to mention with this shotgun is that Breton is known for making the lightest shotguns in the world. So the whole action is made out of alloy or aluminum. It has aluminum barrels, so it's really, really light. It has only 2.5 kilos weight, which is extraordinary and really cool. Before we take it apart, let's look at the action again a bit more closer. So here's the lever, which as I said is essential here and can be turned only when the gun is on fire position. So now it's on safe and now it's on fire. So we can turn it all the way forward. It's not 180 degrees, it's a bit less because it stops in this position, but that's enough to unlock it and because of this this model fair play we can tilt it down and it stays here on this angled surface of these side plates so yeah that's how it looks when you open it the first thing you notice are these two big pins sticking out with, with recesses on the top that's the place where actually the locking mechanism uh, is placed here there is a pin going all the way through, you turn with that pin with the lever and that locks into the recesses of these two pins sticking out from the front section with the barrels. So put it there and you just lock it and tie it like this. So yeah, as I said before, the side panels works as guides for this front section with barrels so it goes forward and can be tilted down here is the extractor which is not spring loaded or anyhow attached it again is is guided in these slides it goes with the front section with barrels till it stops because of the recess here in in those panels it stops and pulls the cases the shells out so yeah that is basically how it works. It's very simple, very straightforward. It works fine. And we will see at the shooting range how easy it is to operate with this, uh, with this shotgun as fast as you can. All right, so now I think we're ready to disassemble the shotgun. Let's disassemble this gun. So I would start with the sleeve at the end of the barrels. I just have to unscrew this screw yeah and now I can do it with my hand and just slide this sleeve off the barrels like this so now the barrels are separate from each other and I can show you that I can unscrew this interchangeable or replaceable chokes at the end of the barrels pretty easy so yeah you just unscrew that I would continue with forend the forend is attached by this spring over over this pin at the bottom so I just lift it up and push it forward so that's how I slide the forend off there's not much interesting on it well, what do I do next? The whole gun is made out of aluminum. Uh, the barrels are from, made of aluminum, uh, also the, the action, so it's really, really light, only 2.5 kilos. And great thing about it is that you can easily unscrew the barrels. <laughs> so you unscrew barrels off, which is pretty amazing, and they are extremely light, really light. And if I unscrew the other one, the great thing about that is that you can easily replace them if they are damaged or you want to change the bore or caliber of your gun. So you can create a different kinds of guns with, with a single, single uh, model. 
Well, what do we have on those barrels? So if I show you like this, as I showed you before, here's the caliber, the proofing mark 98. Here is the serial number 52043 and signed Breton or Mark Breton. And there's nothing else. The same is on the other one. Also, yeah, here is their serial number, Breton, proofing mark and year 98. Here is the rest of the of this barrel section and I believe that you can take that apart by unscrewing these two screws and taking these side panels off and then somehow <laughs> you can take that off but I'm not gonna do that because I see no reason in it but what is interesting is that here is the serial number this is the only marking of the serial number on gun itself except the barrels and if we look here at the bottom another interesting thing is that here we see San Etienne so that's where the Breton company comes from in France but above that here is written Slovakia but it looks like it's written in French with using a Q so Slovak no idea how to pronounce that so yeah that's the combination of french and slovak or Slo slovakian uh you know engineering let's say and manufacturing all right so this is the most complete disassembly of breton shotgun i'm gonna do and i'll put it back together and we can take it to the shooting range and see what it can do okay guys so we're out and ready to test this shotgun, so let's give it a try and wish me luck. Oh, that hurts. That really hurt. Wow, I'm not sure I want to continue. <laughs> but yeah, well. We've got the opportunity, so let's do it. But it really hurts on your cheek. Not the most pleasant shooting I've ever done. So let's do it again. But yeah, you can operate with it. It's not that big deal. I don't really mind it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's way slower than with other shotguns. So yeah. It works pretty nice, it's super light and yeah, a thing you don't see every day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, press like and subscribe and we will see each other next time.